Hello, welcome pen friends. It's time for a pen review. And uh, I also wanna talk about uh, my plans for the summer. But today we're gonna look at this little pen. It's a Lanbatu 3009 space pen. It's a pocket pen, fountain pen. Um, and then I just wanna peek in real quick with the other uh, pens that are in the lineup. But here it is, and it's got a hooded nib, and we'll look at it real thoroughly. But I'd like to show you uh, inside this box here, uh, the little crab a pen holder really, uh, really is perfect for this little pocket pen. And the crab pen holder was from pen friend Sharon, and my pen friend FD sent the pen some time ago. Which leads me to my next point. Inside this cigar box are the pens that um, some of them I've had inked up, but they're going to be next up for for inking and, and uh, reviewing in some cases. Um, some cases I've already done. Uh, but I had to find out some system to get me really organized because it just, it, it kind of uh, surprises me how long I've had this pen and I've been intending to do a review of it. I really like it, but there's some pros and cons, so I wanted to go over those. But first off, let's just look at it. It, it is a metal body pen, and it's got a nice metal clip. Not too tight, but it looks functional. I don't use clips, but the, it is a very distinctive one. I like that. Um, let's see, there's the finial, oops, shiny, <laughs> a nice, and the end of it. What I really like is you're quick in and out of this. You just, you pop it open and then, I don't know if you could hear that, but it posts nice and securely. And then you've got a full size or nearly full size pen. I thought we'd look at it in, in line up with some of my others. It's got a pretty narrow section that has that uh, kind of aluminum or section and a hooded nib. I want to call it extra fine, but it's probably a fine. I don't, I don't have a lot of information about this pen. It has a little logo on it. It says Space 3009. And on the other side, it has a little, I guess, Wingsung logo. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to look at it a little further inside it. And then right after that, we'll compare it with some other pocket pens. I have quite a few different kind of pocket pens, a couple of metal ones, but mostly I, I go for the demonstrator plastic ones. Then, um, then we'll do a writing sample. Then I'm going to tell you everything I like and don't like about it. But I did want to peek back inside because this is uh, one of the key points here. It does have a bladder filling system. I wish it didn't, but it does. And um, I could take this off, and I have to be a little careful because I do have it inked up. <laughs> I could take the cover off, and that's what I do when I fill it. But you still, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it too far filled. So that's been something ongoing that I've been working on. And this, is, this time it worked better than before. This is about the third fill with this pen, but I love it. It writes so smoothly. That's the thing. Oh, it's a shame it's not just a little cartridge pen, but it isn't. It's a Chinese pen, um, and I hear and I see on eBay, when you look at past sales, they, they went from, for a really reasonable price, like I was seeing between five and eight dollars, and I even have heard you could get them in lots, but I'm just not seeing them in the U.S. right now. So you may have better luck, or I may have better luck tomorrow, but I was looking to see if I could find some, and I couldn't. So let's get out my other pocket pens. I always like to kind of line them up and, and do a comparison. I've got my metal ones. Oops. Oh, I guess I've got a lot of stuff here. Okay, I've got uh, a little Travelers, Midori Travelers one, and that, that kind of reminds me of it size-wise and, and the way it pops off and posts. And then um, this is the little uh, Waterman 52... Uh, pocket pen whoops so it's a vintage pen but the body's plastic not metal and then this is the Caveco Lilliput um, but I did want to go ahead and put some of the plastic ones out uh, nearby it because you may be more familiar like with the Caveco Sport and that that gives us a a little bit better gee I mean I could go further I, this is the little uh, 
really small, but it, again, it's a demonstrator. The Stipula Passaporto, totally different ball game. Same with the Moon Men, um, Moon Men Wonkai Minis. They're they're just totally different, and you've got to, the difference, the big difference there is uh, you have to uh, unscrew and then screw to post. So if you're in a grocery store with this pen and you want to just pop it off and post it and write, it, it's going to be quite a bit easier, even though I don't mind this, but I don't tend to carry this one in the gro to the grocery store. I'll do it when I'm going to be sitting, sitting, taking notes or something like that. I got a couple more, but I really don't know that they're pertinent. Maybe one more. <laughs> the Pilot Petite one. And then I've got to, uh, for reference, put a larger pen out so that we can see. Um, I, hope it's, yeah, I hope it's holding up. Everything's going to roll together, darn it. I had a little yellow thing, but it, it just wasn't big enough for this. So how about a Twisby Eco? Because then we can really see where we're at here. You could, this is where you can tell that that's a pocket pen. Here's our pen of the day. <laughs> right here. I'm not guessing anything's going to be straight, but as long as it's in the frame, I'd be thankful. Okay, and here's a uh, Lamy Safari. <clears throat> so we're definitely dealing with a pocket pen, and that's just for your reference for size-wise. Um, there we have it. Okay, so let's move these out of the way. And I think we need to write with it. <clears throat> Try not to make an uh, interest the cat too much because he's up from his nap. Coco is. I've got a little notebook here, and this is the ink that I put in it. Roaring Clinger uh, Vert de Grease. This was from uh, a nice sample, a large sample sent from Penfriend SV. And I think we're going to be able to just write right here. But I like that. I can open it with one hand and just post it. I know it's going to stay. That I really like about it. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. Maybe we can refresh ourselves on something that would be useful facts. <laughs> Whoop, I got to hold it right, and that means using the right part of my glasses. Lamba T. Hmm, how come I can't spell Lamba <laughs> <clears throat> 3009. I do need to hold it right. Space pen. I'm a long way from my writing. <clears throat> I don't want my head down there in front of this. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is Tamoy River paper. Okay. It really, really is flowing good. It has been going really well before this. And holding the pen right really makes a big difference. <clears throat> huh, okay. Surely I didn't run it dry already. I hope not, but that is one of the things that I find a problem because just in getting ready, I wanted to write with it quite a bit. <clears throat> and I can't really see, you know, the ink, but that's really the only thing I don't like about it. <clears throat> <laughs> Whoa, we forgot our O on hello. Uh, th me and hooded nibs are not probably a good combination because I, I don't have that vision that I should have to hold it right. And when I hold it right, this is super nice and doesn't hesitate to write correctly. And it almost acts like it's starting to run out of ink. Well, this is what we're getting on this paper. Yeah, I'm really surprised I got absolutely none of that earlier, so it could be I used up the fill without even realizing it. Let me get some more ink in it, and we'll see if it's the same story. <clears throat> okay, I, as I was <clears throat> coming back over here, I had the memory. I did take this pen and write in my journal today with it, and that was at least two pages of uh, A5, and I, so I'm breaking the rule I was going to mention and say to you if you got one of these pens to, you know, to check your fill before you left for the day. Well, I didn't check my fill before I started a review, so that is just, I need to listen to my own ideas. So I'm going to do it here so that you can see. Um, I've got the pretty good sized uh, 
left in my sample and I'm just gonna squeeze and then I'm gonna what I was doing earlier I was squeezing really compressing it and then putting it all the way down in and then releasing and I just try to get as much as I can into there but I don't really think I'm getting more than half of a bladder full and I make a mess too but <laughs> but it's such a nice pen for putting in your pocket <clears throat> that it's worth the it's sort of worth the hassle you know to uh, fill it up and go on but when I hold it up to the window yeah I'm, I'm getting about half a bladder full if that and that's just that's not very much ink for someone like me that writes and writes so um, okay I'll put it back together but that explains it I <laughs> I can't believe I did that oh yes I can I haven't done a pen review in ages and rusty rusty okay here we go so we've got ink again and we've we've made sure we're not uh, too messed up there let's try again <clears throat> start over okay and hold it right Chris okay once you have ink in it you're better off <laughs> <clears throat> space pen I'm calling it a fine hooded uh, with a question mark because to me it, it's a lot like those extra fine like well it's a lot like a shark pen so that might help you if you have one of those okay and it's from pen friend FD thank you very much I've actually had this inked up several times but I felt like a, like a user error or something like I wasn't getting it right because of the filling but I have practiced a few more times and really am determined because I don't know there must be another pen like this somewhere with a different filling system but I, I haven't I've got some notes from a viewer that I need to find because I know there was another pen I was going to try to find but um, uh, at times I'm on no spends or you know I stay away from that kind of stuff but right now I'm interested again and I can't find it so um, I've got some measurements that I'm going to put in the uh, description box for you but it is a bladder filler <clears throat> and I'm not sure exactly how to even spell that but <laughs> okay and it's 95 millimeters capped uh, or three and three quarter inches so this is capped and unposted it's really small but, but it's not much difference it's three and three eighths so I'm gonna leave all that in the description the grip diameter was something I wanted to talk about the grip diameter is very small and I'm kind of way back on it so I measured where I've been hitting uh, where I've been gripping and it's about seven millimeters okay and it's 17.3 grams you know inked and the full pen the whole thing I wouldn't write with it uh, you, I could but I wouldn't write with it be, uh, without posting it because it just feels better to have that extra you know to have enough back there and w and it seems to balance it better so as far as the price range and the availability I really don't know because I can't find any I could only find an old listing on eBay and something popped up from uh, Korea but that I, I had trouble getting into it and then it's not my eBay it's not um, for here anyway so but I was seeing something like five to eight dollars on the last sales that they had shown so that was neat see that is different that's why I had the trouble because I was running it right out of ink and it had started to go ahead and because I haven't had any of that yet and I you know I haven't perfectly held it so okay um, I, so I think it's time to uh, well I think I think we've shown it's a good writer it's got an excellent nib and uh, so that is that makes it a real temptation to go ahead and figure that filling system out not be chicken of it except that I know myself I will outright that capacity so quickly that's all 
But part of doing this is just, you know, honoring these pens that I have and, and learning more about them and uh, using some of this extra time I have this summer to go through the, the pens that I have never really had a chance to show you on, on the channel. I've worked with many of them and some I haven't even filled up, which is, I don't even want to talk about that because I don't know how that happens. I think it's just like, uh, putting it off or procrastination or whatever. So let's talk about what I like. Um, I really like that it's small. It's a pocket pen. It, it's, it goes right in your pocket. You know, it's so portable and it seems real nice and secure when it's all together like that. I just, I like it. Um, it's got a smooth writing nib. It's quick to open and post. So you're not spending all day fiddling and faddling with it. Um, and it seems sturdy. The materials are sturdy. Now, there are a couple of little dings. I don't know if I could even show you. You may be able to see right there. But I don't, my goodness, uh, I've got that on an all-star. So, you know, that happens. And this is not an expensive pen, so I wouldn't cry over it. Um, okay, but moving over to what I don't like, I think we've already covered that, really. I don't like the ink capacity because I can't seem to fill it. I mean, with what's there and available, you, you could get enough if you were talented, I guess, you know, if you could do it. I'm probably doing it wrong, but I'm just not. <clears throat> I'm not getting enough in there. I'm getting like, well, right now it's here. The most I've ever seen in there was about up to here. And that's very frustrating. I don't know if it needs to be replaced or if it's just me. It's likely it's just me because I have had another pen like this where I just put it away. I just, oh, I just can't seem to get enough. But this one I haven't given up on because of the way I just love it, being a pocket pen and everything. So the bladder filler and, and the idea that it's a really small ink capacity. Uh, for me, you know, I've seen other people actually do better so <laughs> that's one of the reasons why this one hasn't shown up being reviewed because it's like uh it, it, you know i keep asking myself is it just me <laughs> maybe it's just me so um that's pretty much it i think i'll put a lot of stuff in the description for you in case you run into one of these or you're interested and then I really would like to learn of something very similar with a different filling mechanism. So if you know about a pen like that, please don't be mad if you're the one that told me before and I can't find the, I can't find where the comment was, but I am going through my little, uh, my commonplace books. I've got two of them filled up with notes like that. So somewhere, somewhere I'm sure I'm on my like third or fourth one of these. And I've got two littler ones, too, that are filled up with uh, channel notes and notes about things like that. So don't totally give up on me, please. But <laughs> um, let's see. What else did I want to say? I, <laughs> I had written down under conclusions uh, to uh, check your ink often. And then I got on here to do a review. That's classic Chris, though. Well, I might as well be real. Um, and I put another conclusion. Pocket pen people will probably love it. I mean, it's, it's really kind of neat. I wish it took a cartridge, rumored to be affordable, I, I, rumored to have like if you could buy maybe five for a really good price, but I can't verify that for you because I'm just not finding it. But um, let's see what's next. I think what's next, oh yeah, what's next is the Yaffa uh, scenario. So that is is a little bit unique too. So I, I'm excited to bring you a, a little review on that one. And that one is more available. So hopefully that'll be a little more relevant to you. But uh, hope you're having a great um, day. And let's see, let me open up this, put some of these pocket pens away as we're ending. And I do like this. This is a Galen Leather 10 pen case that I got. And I almost wished I hadn't gotten it because uh, I felt like with the pens I wanted to put in it, the, the caps were too big and it was just overstuffed. But for these pocket pens, it's just perfect. I'm finding it to be, it, it's much more roomy for, for that. So that's what I'm using it for. And the Quebeco. I'm probably not gonna put this one in since it's inked up. And I could put, okay, this one I felt like I better put that in a more secure place. And same with the lily put. 
Uh, so I'm just kind of sticking with these for now. But anyway, we will talk again soon because I can't wait to bring you the uh, ideas that I have about that Yaffa scenario, which was given to me by the same pen friend. And I will talk to you later. Bye for now.